Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel and today we are talking about very very important topic which is reusable components okay so this disconnect with reusability okay so that means you can reuse some assets or components into your application multiple time right that's when reusability comes in and you might have also uh, studied in your college or somewhere reusable uh, make a reusable thing right make a reusable components or make a uh, like industry also uh, moving forward to reusable components right and that's when these ai uh, models and everything coming in right so they will if there is a repeated work it will automatically create a, <clears throat> a robot around it and then your work will be done repeated work will be done by robot so that's when reusability is very very important topic and and for us in react native or building a mobile application this particular uh, reusability uh, topic is very very important okay so today we will be creating one reusable component this will use a little bit of props so definitely in future i will cover props in a separate video but yeah because we have to create a reusable reusable component so i will be using a little bit of props okay and uh, i will be using the previous video uh, built-in component which is coming in from react native okay so very very first thing is uh, let me create some component for you and then we'll start reusing that okay so let's jump into the code so before moving forward guys uh, please hit that subscribe button and share this series with your friends or people who are willing to learn this mobile application development so guys let's move forward so guys uh, right side you see a mobile and left side you see a code so uh if you don't know how this is happening please watch the previous video you will be able to run your mobile in your system okay so now what you notice we have three images three text okay attached to that and left side you see a lot of code right you have a lot of code which is uh, which is rendering all of these images and text so now what you notice this code is repeated just try to notice this code what i have highlighted so this code what you see is repeated multiple time right that's when uh, we were saying about repetition right so guys we'll do something to reduce this multiple repetition okay so very first thing you should do is in if you are starting your uh, application just create one folder components okay this components folder will carry all of your component or maybe there will be some small components which is assets level like let's say icons or that i can have a drop down so all of that but yeah for for a demonstration purpose we'll be just creating this component for now and i'll be creating one file okay and that should start from that caps okay Com uh, custom image text okay so name is very very important guys so that uh, when you are sharing your code with different uh, other developers right so that's when they will be able to understand easily uh, what name you had given how it will be used right so so because we are uh, creating reusable component for these two uh, sub components so now we just need these so what we will do so what we have to do we have to just quickly create our component here so in order to do that we have to just say uh, const custom image text okay so we'll be just doing one arrow function here which will basically return these two sub component right so and i told you previously like we need to use view in order to wrap anything around um, this thing so now we have these two things and what you notice we have just imported view but we are using a couple of more uh, inbuilt components so which is text and image okay so these two are also important now what do you notice uh, we are we have created our uh, function but we have not exported so we have to say export default default okay so now we have this component ready to use in any other component okay now another thing what you notice we have this static uh, data here so which is which need to be dynamic so that you can easily uh you reuse in multiple places so what do you need here so we need um, source okay we need uh, title okay and we need style so this three thing is required for this particular component so this source can be replaced with this particular section okay and this style can be replaced with this particular section and this title can be replaced with this text 
okay and definitely you have to wrap under this curly braces so now your custom component is ready okay or you can say this reusable component is ready now we can go back we can easily just start using that okay so how we can do that so we can say custom so you can see in the drop down it is already coming so you have to close the bracket then start sourcing the data to this okay so very first thing you need the source right so you can source this particular data which is here right and then next thing we can say title so you can pass <clears throat> data here maybe it, it may be a dynamic data right so so it can be a title sorry image 01 okay and then we have this uh, style right so style can have style which is coming in from this place so i have already written that image code so which has width height and all of that i'll come to that uh, style section in uh, future videos okay so we'll say styles dot image so this is the uh, style we need to pass so quickly we can remove this and start saving this so what do you notice we have this first image coming in right which was previously coming from the static data now we can uh, go ahead and remove these two uh, things also now what do you notice we have this data coming in from our reusable component right it looks amazing right so you just need to pass some data and it will render for you image and text so let's say you have repeated uh, images right so you can just quickly pass another image you have to just pass this a title so what you notice here we are still doing the uh, repetition so but in general like when you are developing the application you will receive data in array form of array so you can apply a loop so when you apply a loop you still be writing one particular uh, uh, one particular component so you'll be calling one custom or reusable component which will help you to reduce your code okay so now we have done our reusable component we are passing some data and tendering that particular uh, image or text so now let's come back to our <clears throat> purpose of the video so now what do you notice we have created the component right what do you notice here we have created the component which is second reusable what is the reusable component you have also understood that now the benefit of uh, this reusable component so benefits are huge right so it will help you to uh, organize your code better way right you have to write the less code in the main component so you can break down your components into chunks right so you small small components you can create and then reuse them right or one more benefit is unit test so uh, in bigger product right like facebook or uh, you take example of uh, uh, mintra or any kind of shopping apps right so every component need to be written uh, for every component we need to write unit test case so if your components are small right so it will be very easy for you to test so guys uh, these are couple of benefits and definitely you will when you work on the uh, reusable components you will understand more about it right so now the best practices comes in so so for me the best practice is something you should uh, follow in order to have these kind of components so keep that name right uh, very much readable so that other developer working with you will be able to understand these particular components so that they can also use a component which you created right there might be a chance you have a bigger team and you have created one component which can be reused multiple places so you can create a particular can create a readable name right and also give a comments right so comment giving is very very important right so that is a one best practice and then another thing just try to keep these props uh, lesser so i have seen people will keep props like 10 20 30 better you pass as an object one prop so that that suffice the uh, thing right i think these are the thing you should keep in mind while creating a reusable component so guys in this video uh, we have covered all of it so see you in next video till then guys bye bye take care keep coding keep shining